Hi, I am Eman Jimenez. Hi, I'm Vincent Hi, I'm Dashri Bhavya. Hi, I'm the Chapo Me as Bahan. Hi, I'm Richard Jim Bapo. Hi, my name is Jack. Hi, I'm Johnny Christine M. Gutierrez. No! What is the person? I don't know how big is the impact when you walk up there. Yes, what is the height of that? I don't know. How can we find the height of that? I saw something on Google that you use a polynomial you can measure. And I found that thing. You have one? Can we okay, use that? Let's go! Hey guys, this is the clinometer. Oh, that's the clinometer? How do you use that, Jeff? Hey, Jeff. Stop. I'll show you. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. What is a clinometer? An inclinometer or clinometer is an instrument used for measuring angles of slope, elevation, or depression of an object with respect to gravity's direction. Uses A clinometer is used to measure the angle of elevation or angle from the ground in a right-angled triangle. You can use a clinometer to measure the height of tall things that you can't possibly reach the top of. How to make a clinometer? Materials needed, drinking straw, protector, hard base, scissors, glue stick or glue gun, glue, scotch tape, and a hex knot tied with a thread. Attach the straw to the upper part of the hard base by using a glue gun. Cut a piece of tape and stick it into half an inch of the end of the thread, and then attach it into the middle line of the protractor. Make sure that the remaining thread, or the long thread, will be in front of the protractor. Lastly, using a glue, apply it onto the back of the protractor where we attach the thread, and then apply it or spread it equally, and then paste it into the hard base. Materials needed to measure the height of the building. 1. Clinometer. 2. Steel tape for longer distance to be covered. 3. Chalk or tape used for markings. Now let's proceed on finding the height from the worker down to the ground. First, find your spot. Then using the steel tape, measure from point A to the person's spot. Measure the height of the observer from his or her eye down to her feet. Then use the clinometer and look through it. Let's use X as the missing height. So the person's height from her eye level down to her feet is 1.4 meters. And the distance from the gate to the person's spot is 1.9 meters. As we use the clinometer, we found that our angle of elevation is 65. So we subtracted it to 90, which results to 25 degrees. To get the height of a problem that involves the angle of elevation, we just need to use the obtained value which is the opposite of the angle of elevation and you will add it to the height of the person's feet from the ground to its eye level. Because we already have the distance and the angle of elevation and we need to find 
the value opposite of the angle of elevation so we will use the tangent ratio so it is tangent 25 degrees is equal to x divided by 1.9 meters cross multiply and multiply 1.9 to tan 25 now x is 0.89 or approximately 1 meter to find the total height just add x plus the height of the person from her eye level down to her feet the total height from the person or the worker down to the ground is approximately 2 meters uncle be careful bye guys Woo! hi hi Finn. hi jeff What's the use of the chronometer, by the way? Hey, Jeff, how do you use that one? Can it measure my... <laughs> hey, guys, this is the chronometer. Oh, that's the chronometer. How do you use that, Jeff? It's for you. Uncle, be careful. Uncle, be careful. Audio jungle.